Hello and welcome to another video tutorial. In this video I'll be covering the resource root. Now the resource root is a library which allows you to access image resources in any target library or from a local repository generated in Unity called the resource root asset. Now image assets which exist in the resource root here are serializable and image assets which you get directly from a target library are not serializable. For example, the image assets which you see here in this window exist in the root. This is the root manager and the root manager allows you to move image assets which exist from Unity directly to the root and remove image assets which exist in the root from the root. Now, if we were to open this example window here, we can actually test out the serialization ability of the root. So if you go ahead and instance a sprite into the scene, and the image for that sprite is actually taken from the root, and we go ahead and save this scene, and we close our window and we open back the window we should see our resource root image which is the one image serialized and our sprite in the scene remaining as it is so as you can see here after an assembly reload the image still remains so the image assets in the root are indeed serialized However, we could not do that with uh, one of these images, though we could actually instance these the same way. However, after an assembly reload, the image would simply vanish. Now, this window is the root manager. Now, as I'd mentioned before, it allows you to view the image assets which exist in your root, uh, move image assets from your project to the root, and remove image assets from the root. Now, as you can see here, some of the assets which you see in the root, like this image here and the Visual Studio image here, don't actually exist in the project. These images here are all the images that exist in the project. So if we go ahead and do something like uh, deleting the Visual Studio image here, then that image will be gone for good as it doesn't exist in the project and it's only existing in its serialized form in the root itself. So we can go ahead and just remove uh, this root image here and I'm going to go ahead and remove this Visual Studio image here. Now as you can see we're going to close that window, we're going to open the window again and you can see that the Visual Studio image is indeed not there as it's been removed from the root. However, our root image is still here as it exists in the project, so you can add that back. How this window works is that for each object that you select, it's highlighted by this tiny orange circle here, which indicates that that is the current selected uh, image in the root. Now you can select multiple images by holding down control and clicking on the images that you want. And then you can begin uh, making changes by deleting these assets. And the refresh button here is simply uh, triggers a refresh of both the project images and the root data images. Now if you go ahead and open these windows here which is the window B test window you'll notice that we're not seeing the uh, two images that we saw before and that's because we actually deleted them out of the root. So we can go ahead and add these back to the root however we're going to have to uh, reopen this window before we can actually see them. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, Add that image back to it, which was these, this image here, 
Then I add it back, and you see it won't show up yet. And there was also another image, which was the one image. And that image is added through uh, call through unenabled. So we're going to have to perform a assembly reload here. So if we just enter the play mode, the image will be added to the root. And if we exit play mode, we can see that we're going to have that image one existing in the root again. And the reason why you see the sprite, which was previously the one image looking like this, is because, again, we deleted the image from the root, and so uh, the reference was lost. So that's what happens when you delete images from the root that are currently in use. In the next video tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can use the direct retrieval and root retrieval method to access your image resources. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.